hard to imagine that you actually ran the show for the Baylor Bears. You were behind center with with uh, with lateral movement like that. I just find it hard to believe. Uh, speaking of lateral movement, no one has better movement than Allison Edmonds. She joins us now as the night shift from the alarm clock pep rally game of the week, I believe. Oh, she must have a 6.30 kickoff, too, at Kearney High. Take it away, Allison. Yes, thank you so much, Paul. We do have a 6.30 kickoff here at Kearney High School. They actually just scored a touchdown. It is already 7-0. The game just started. But the Kearney Comets started their day way before this game at the alarm clock pep rally with Allie Wagner. Let's take a quick look at this morning's action. Let's bring out the football team! around the helmet. Who can take third? KUSI is trailing behind. Hey, hop! 129 on the noise meter. And the fun always continues into the nighttime here at Kearney High School as they take on the Patrick County Patriots in their homecoming game. I caught up with head coach of the Comets, Will Gray, a little bit earlier on tonight to talk about how his team has fared so far this season and what to expect from tonight and the coming weeks. Um, I think we've played together. We've executed. Um, just getting better game by game. And with it being such an exciting day, you guys having the pep rally this morning, homecoming tonight, how do you keep your team focused on the game at hand? Um, actually, our seniors keep focused this year. Um, a lot of the coaching stuff that we do, we do during the week, and we leave it up to our senior captains to take care of the rest, and they've been doing a good job of keeping the team focused and staying on track. And what does this Patrick Henry squad do well that may be a challenge for you guys tonight? Uh, believe it or not, they, they have some athletes. Um, we've been watching film, and we, we based on what we see, um, they run the ball well. And looking forward to the rest of the season, what is something you're looking forward to seeing this team do in the next the coming weeks? Get better. Uh, every week we say 1-0 is our goal and that's what we continue to do. And the comments are running down the field as we speak. We'll be back with the full highlights from this game tonight on the Prep Picture Report and in just a few minutes we'll have a live look at this game once again. But for right now, Paul, I'll send it over to you. All right, Allison, thank you very much. In fact, we'll take a live look at our game right now as Point Loma and the University City Centurions are underway. We're going to be watching a showdown between two silver pigskin finalists, Casey Grantford's in the white jerseys and J.L. Skinner, who you met earlier this evening, in the dark uniforms. Those two guys, both hot candidates, perhaps be on our end of the year, player of the year podium. They're going mano a mano, and we'll, have, uh, we'll feature that matchup for you tonight on the 1st and 15. Quick reminder, this show is best enjoyed in large numbers. If you've never attended a PPR viewing party, well, quite simply, you haven't lived. They go on everywhere throughout the county. If there's 80 schools playing, there's 80 viewer parties, viewing parties to choose from. It's sponsored by the kind folks at Cartwright Termite and Pest Control. And uh, this is what you need to know. We're going to start at Morris High School. The ABS is having a party there. We're going to be there. Then John Duran's going to get in his car and drive north to Felipe's Pizza Grotto, where Mira Mesa's having a get-together. If you have a viewing party suggestion, Drop us a line at pprkusi.com, pprkusi.com. We might send a live camera to your viewing party, and wouldn't that be a thrill? All right, we're going to take a quick break. We'll have, we're getting much closer to the 645 sports wheel. I'll have Burt Grossman doing play-by-play -play from this game as Point Loma is looking to score first. We'll have more in just a bit.